today is Flamingo's News Week 34 and I'm Jean and I'm here with Anne-Marie and today we'll be doing tomato plants. So how do you make tomato plants? Well you get you have to have like a bag of soy and put the soil you have to have like a, a little plastic cup like this and put the soil in it and make a little hole put put the tomato seeds in it and water it up yeah and just wait a few days for it to go and have a little sprout and then it'll start to get bigger like ours has done now so now as you can see these were all last week's but they were very different ones. So, but can you see how they have improved? So, look at my one now. Isn't it massive? So, when it's it's an in little bitty seed which grows into one big plant, and you can start to make more vegetables with them. Hey, I'm Dominic. Hi, I'm Arba. Today we want, went to visit. visit your new classes for year four. My class was key. My class was kitty rakes. We we got some paper and we write it about ourselves. Then we after playtime we gone to our new classes again and we done five minutes of maths then we went to our year three classes flamingos yep flamingos i'm gonna miss flamingos yeah me too hello and we're back again with story mapping and today i'm gonna ask jean what is story mapping and why are you doing it? Well, first we're going to start, what is story mapping? Um, some of you might know, but it is where you have a sheet of paper or if you're at home you might have um, a book or something to do or if you're at school you might have a book or paper. So, a story map is where you, is where it's based on one story and you, it's not like a proper map, but what you do is you draw a picture, draw an arrow, draw a picture, and when you've done, you should have it portrait. And when you've finished and you're onto the edge of the paper, you've got to make a nice curve. And why are you doing it? Because we, we're making our own stories. We gotta talk about maths. And in maths, we've been doing charts. And ch we, the sort of charts we've been doing is like bar charts or tally charts. Um, all the sorts of charts you can, you can think of. And um, in maths, no problem, there was um, a chart that we had to figure out and we had to go on and on and on to we're on the fourth sheet and that means that we will be good at learning charts that's all we have time for see you next week stay classy flamingos <laughs>